Hey, one more step and we're going to have an argument. Understand? Well, I just want to interact with you. I can't even interact with you. What the heck? Can't even sneak past you. I'd have to put you to sleep or something. But, uh... I don't think that would do... Oh! Skeleton. There you go. With a shovel and some gold coins. And something to dig up. If I get past that guy, the problem is there's, uh... Probably a few more guys there. So I wouldn't get far. Come on. Dig it up. Diggity diggity. Oh good, I can open this one. Ring of sneak plus one. Are you telling me that I could sneak? Sneak plus one. I could just wear this ring and not sneak. That is so sneaky. So I could have saved five learn points. Well, what happens if I wear it while I have sneak? Does it give me double sneak? Can I sneak past this guy? Hold. You're not coming in here. Blah, blah, blah. Gotcha. Crossbow plus one. Dex and crossbow. Wisdom minus ten. <laughs> Alright. We're not getting in there. There's people behind, right? There's that guy. How do I create a distraction? So there's there's a few spells available for me. I can create a, an illusion. I can Nautilus go inside. Well, out of curiosity, let's just do quick save. Let's use a Nautilus spell and see what happens. Press that thing to transform back. So I'm just a critter. He shouldn't have a problem with me. There's that guy there. There's a chicken. There's this guy here watching this guy sleep. Kind of creepy. There's a whole bunch of people here. I can't loot any chests in this form, obviously. And here are stairs. Which I cannot go up on. There's a chest there. So that's about it. Wait a minute. Can I not transform out here? And sneak. That didn't do it. Okay. Oh, left. No. Okay. Left, right, left, right. Speed. If I can loot a lot of stuff, maybe, just maybe, it will be worth it. Is someone coming for me? Oh, someone's coming for me. 
Carlos. Okay, bub. Don't worry. That guy saw me somehow. Alright. Well, yeah, there's just too many people to go around. But it's good to know that all those goods are there, but nothing was really unique for me to actually uh, steal for a unique spell scroll. So I'm not going to use those scrolls. Unless I'm like really tight on money, I don't need to actually grab that stuff. Not for now at least. I don't want to talk to you. Well, you look like you've got deep pockets. And there's no better place to dig into them than Madame Sonia's house of pleasure. We've got something to suit all tastes. And the girls there are talented, flexible, and lice free. Good to know. Well, I maybe I, I wanted something with lice. Maybe I wanted something with lice. What do you mean lice free? That doesn't sound fun. This is where I came up when I was washed up. Or was it the other side? I don't know. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. Oh, healing roots. Quick save, let's see what's in here. All right there. Who are you? Mo. I work for Dark. You look like a fable character. I see. That's a tough job. Yeah. Especially as I remove offal, keep the butcher's shop clean, render fat, and fetch cattle. If you don't want anything, can I get on? I've got a lot to do. Heard anything about the break-ins? You think because I do deliveries, I'm in on them? I don't care about valuables. I care about music, beer, and keeping out of trouble. Sounds idyllic. A necklace. Okay, quick save. Hold on, I just want to see what kind of necklace it is. Just a regular necklace. Okay, not worth it. Thought it was something more special. Very simple, sweetie. You want something, you pay for it. And there's no discount for rugged and handsome here. <laughs> what can you offer me? You are in the finest brothel in town. If you can't find it here, it's not worth having. Do you also sell information? If you have the gold, I have the knowing. Give me ten gold coins, then ask your question. If I can answer it, sweetie, then I will. And if I can't, then I still keep the gold. How does that deal work for me? Believe me, there's little that goes on around here that doesn't come through my doors sooner or later. Comforting to know. But no risk, no fun. Right? Hmm. Tell me about you. How's business? The Inquisition don't care about maintaining order in a brothel. So they turn a blind eye when our clients reach a new level of disgusting. Just take a look at that bastard over there. His name's Ericsson. Drinks all day and hits my girls. My regular guards left town and Ericsson won't listen to me. Dirty scum. Just ask my girl Gwen what kind of a monster he is. With the Inquisition ignoring us, there can be no justice for a place like this. We're stuck at the mercy of bastards like Ericsson. Alright, I can take care of him for you. Hmm. Okay, let's just save for now. I'd like to hire the services of one of your girls. For the cell guard on the harbor key. Harbor key, you say? Hmm. Take Annika. She normally works that area. Though she may not want to go with your cell guard friend. And that's her choice. Annika, got it. At the harbor key. Thanks. I do need information. I'm all is. 
She wants a lot of gold. I'm not gonna give it to her. We're gonna talk to more people first. Tell someone who cares. I can tell you're hungry for the kind of adventure that only Olga can bring. I see things. I know things. It's just Madame Sonia and a few gold coins stand in your way. Sheesh. And this is just a straight up bedroom without a door, but with a door frame. Good, vials. I need them. I need them for alchemy. She has a casket there. Does she have anything else? No. What's your problem? I'm just getting to know Harbor Town. Tell someone who gives a shit. Now fuck off and stop snooping. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kick your ass right now. You're gonna tell me what I need to know. Come on, let's get this done. That's it. Come out here, boy. Okay, well, it's not gonna be hard to defeat you. Okay. Shack key. First thing you need, Shul's GES. That was easy enough. All right. What do you want? You shouldn't have such a big mouth. What do you want from me? Tell me about the key you had on you. If I tell you who that belongs to, I'd be digging my own grave. Now leave me alone. Okay. So he smashed his face in. Good job, sweetie. That bastard Ericsson had it coming. I do need information. I'm all in. How about this GS on the key? No? See, that's something that I would have actually wanted. I have other things to do. Okay, farmer boy. Ooh, candlestick. Is that a watermelon? That is huge. It's not a watermelon, it's a blanket. Oh. Well, uh, hello. Oh, you're wearing clothes. Never mind. Just leave me alone. I'm not even here, all right? What's the matter? It's that drunken pig, Ericsson. He sits on that bench all day, eyeing me up, licking his lips, making his hand gestures. It's so creepy. Then I find out he paid Madame Sonia for me. I refused to go with him, and he beat me, bastard. Is Ericsson one of the Don's men? Ha! <laughs> the Don's men are gentlemen compared to him. He comes right out of the town's cesspit. Then I'll make sure I stay upwind of him. Ericsson got what he deserved. Yeah, I saw you gave him quite the beating. Glad in my heart it did, but it ain't enough. In a few days I'll be back on that bench again, staring. Licking, gesturing. I'll have a word with him. Would you spit in his face while you're at it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Let's have a chit chat. I've got a message for you. Leave now if you know what's good for you. And if you even look at the girls here again, you'll regret it. Oh, lover, are you? Or save your effort. I was gonna go anyway. Stay here long enough, you'll catch the pox. Then maybe you already have. Okay, he's going. That drunk Ericsson has taken off. That's a way off my mind, and no mistake. I think that warrants a reward. Oh, nice. Where's he going? To the right. Okay. Let me tell her as well. I don't think Ericsson will show his face here again. That's a relief and a half, I tell you. You're a good man. Here's that gold I promised. Don't worry. I'll earn it back soon enough. I've got a few specialist tricks. Take care of yourself, all right? Thanks. You too. Who's this AP? 
I don't see it anywhere on my character stats. Anyway, wait, his sledgehammer, it's easy to imagine that this thing could bash skulls 25 damage. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, and we have 1500 gold. Okay, let's buy information from her. What's the worst that she can do? I do need information. Tell me something about Don Esteban's gang. That doesn't sound like a question to me. Give me something to work with, sweetie. Here's your gold back. Let's try again, shall we? Okay. So how strong is the Don's influence in this town? It's not what it used to be, that's for sure. Not since the Inquisition pushed them out into the swamps. Most of the Don's men won't risk coming back either, even for one of my girls. I'm sure Esteban will strike back, though. He's too proud not to. What exactly does the Inquisition want with Harbour Town? They're after the gold artifacts. Crazy for them, they are. No idea what they do with them. All I know is everything they gather, they take up to the monastery. Why are there so many golden artifacts in this town? They've been mostly brought in by the farmers. The artifacts turned up at the same time as those ruins. They just popped up, practically overnight. But you can't eat gold, so most artifacts have been traded. Until the Inquisition claimed that all artifacts must be handed over to them, without any compensation. They came down hard on artifact smugglers too. Most got thrown into the monastery, if they were lucky. Who are the influential people? Who should I know? <laughs> well, there are plenty who think they are. You can't move for loudmouths and big heads round here. But the only one who really pulls the strings is Commandant Carlos. Most of the time he's in the guardhouse above the merchant quarter. You could do a lot worse than allying with his fighters, that's for sure. Where can I find work here? Honest work? Not a lot of that to be had round here. Only person I can think of is the mage, Belshaw. He's a good soul. He has his hands full caring for the poor devils up in the gutters. If I wanted work that wasn't going to cause me trouble with one side or the other, that's who I'd ask. Is there anyone here who can teach me some skills? Well, all my girls are very talented. Oh, you mean combat. Mm -hmm. I think Cole <laughs> up in the gutters is a hunter. He'll know about bows. I can't think of anyone else. So who does smuggle artifacts here in the town? Sorry, sweetie, that one's too hot for me to handle. All I can tell you is that Esteban seems as obsessed with the artifacts as the Inquisitor is. And there are spies everywhere, on both sides. So I won't get myself burned with a question like that. Ask me again when the dust has settled in this place. Okay, so nothing she said was actually giving me experience or unlocking any information or, or giving me anything valuable that I didn't already know. So we're not going to be spending that on you. However, who would you recommend to me? Hmm. So if I was a customer, who would you recommend to me? Olga's over there. She's a lovely girl. Very friendly and extremely flexible. And behave yourself, understand? I don't want to hear any complaints. Alright. Let's see if it gives, gives any XP. I paid Sonya for your services. I understand what 100 XP. Wants. You're an explorer, am I right? An adventurer. Come conquer my continents, lover. <laughs> oh my. Are we gonna get an explicit cutscene? Gothic 2? Did I take you to a few places you've not seen before? Yeah, you could say that. I wonder why I haven't seen you before. I see many things. Things that are unseen by most. I'm psychic. I haven't been here long. And you don't plan on staying long, right? No. I have business to take care of. Pity. But something tells me you will prove important to this place. So let me give you something for the hard road ahead. If you have upset another and they will not speak to you, then this scroll will soothe them. It contains a powerful spell, so use it wisely. Thank you, okay. Olga. I wish you luck on your continued adventures. I feel you may need a great deal of it.
Oh, we just did it like right in front of her. Okay. Awkward. That doesn't unlock any new chats, right? Nope, still the information bit. Okay. So we're done with that. It's beginning to lighten up, so we need to quickly. Erickson's there. That's a guard. We'll need to do uh, stuff. Like finish looting stuff. Oh man, it's getting really light. What the heck is in here? Okay, that guy's outside, so we're gonna go in. I'll have to pick this or find the key. Okay. Grab the key. Jack. We'll come back for you later. I don't think I'll have time to What about the bottom part of Jack's little thing here? Mint. Do a quick save. Anybody in here? There's a bed. Fried herring. I think I'll sleep in the bed. Actually, I should have slept until night time, but uh, whatever, we can finish that up later. Okay, so let's start talking to some people. So, there are still new folks turning up here, eh? Well, watch yourself around the Inquisition. What do you mean? I mean, careful where you step, or you'll be up to your eyes in shit before you know it. They're crazy types, you know. Worshipping a flame. What should I know about Harbour Town? No, eh? Just watch your step. You never know who's throwing their weight about from one day to the next. And mind that Harbour Warehouse. Go near it, and people think you're stealing from there. Let's just say it makes the Inquisition twitchy. What do you mean, twitchy? legal system here is simple but effective. Steal something, we beat the crap out of you. Hurt our citizens, kill our animals, we beat the crap out of you. And if you kill someone... You beat the crap out of me? Exactly. And then we kill you. Well, if I've ever constipated, it's good to know that you guys can help. Anything else I should know? There's still plenty of trouble you can cause folks, without us making with the beatings. Of course, People probably won't talk to you after. So how do I avoid the silent treatment? Don't cause trouble in the first place. What if trouble just happens? Then that sort of happens to be your problem. There must be a way to soothe trouble over. Hmm. Apparently the mages know a spell. A joke spell. A jest spell. Seriously? Yeah. It's supposed to make a person feel like they've just been told the best joke in the world. And how does that help? And they forget whatever was troubling them. Where can I get this spell? A mage, maybe. Plenty in the monastery. Bunch of backstabbing betrayers, the lot of them. Allying with the Inquisition. Could be one knocking around town somewhere. Who are you? I'm Edgar. Head of the town guard. Or at least I was. Until the Inquisition took over and pushed Esteban out. I wasn't his biggest supporter, I admit. But at least he was local. You must be a trained fighter. I swear by the sword and the crossbow. Sword for when they're yeah. close, and crossbow if they try and run. Can you train me? Train you? Sure, it'll give me something to do. But I can't be letting you have my skills for free. Why don't you train the recruits? Let's say that me and the Inquisition don't see eye to eye on the law. I see it as flexible. Why arrest every piddly little criminal? But the Inquisition don't turn a blind eye to anything. So they got one of my former guards, Arik, to oversee the recruits. He's a master and treats them decent, too. Although he seems a little preoccupied lately. 
Teach me some combat skills. Okay, so it'll teach me crossbow five. That's gonna cost a lot. Swords, strength. So with crossbows, it says that it's um, drawing faster. What about swords? Talent for use the sword and light close combat weapons. You can use weapons to category sword. You can attack, parry, and combine up to three attacks. You can carry out counter parries to interrupt your opponent's attacks. So I'll just get better at countering stuff. You can charge your attacks in order to cause more damage or to break through your opponent's parry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool, so if I ever need uh, to enhance my skills, I can do that with you. And we did level up. Um, I want to find a dexterity guy, though. Gotta increase dexterity and then pickpocketing. This guy's a weasel. No, I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Don's men. Nothing gets past you, does it? So, what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum-sucking white-robed bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. And now... Now... Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. What do you know about Commandant Carlos? Warrior of the Inquisition. A slimy, filthy bog slug who happens to be the new lord of the town. He and his guards represent the law, but they behave like there are no laws at all. May they drown in the fifth hell. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. Because you'll find and gut me if I fail. You know what you'd be getting into. Don Esteban hates people who try to cheat him. And so do I. I could work for you. This here is the Fat Cat's quarter. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white-robed bastards are everywhere, and they see everything. So how does it work here? Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else for me. What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant, brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. How does the Bruegelweed get into the town? You don't need to know that. What if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, they're complete. What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. Somebody's paying him. You? follow Garth when he delivers the weed packages. And when he meets his partner, you grab both of them. You want me to do that alone? I'd gladly break their ratty bones with you, but the white robe pigs won't let me out of their sight. What do I get if I bring you the packages? Money. It's always about money. Bring me what I want, and I'll show you how we separate rich merchants from their property. Is that all? We'd be prepared to trust you more as well. That guard, Marcelo, is determined to nail me. He mustn't get the packages. The pig botherer. What would happen if Marcelo got the packages? The stinking brute would hound me for all eternity. Everyone in the town knows we control the weed trade. And with the packages as evidence, Marcelo would be on me like swamp fly. Not a pretty thought. That's why you have to find the packages and give them to me. I'll follow Garth. Good. Garth works across from here in the alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. 
He's a nervous sort. I'm ready to follow Garth. Garth's leaving. Give him a bit of a head start, then follow him. Keep your distance, but don't let him out of your sight. If anything goes wrong, come back. Got it? Is that, is that him? I'm supposed to follow him? Oh, that is Garth. Okay. Alright. Let's follow him, I guess. Sweetheart, how about I make a real man of you? Once you get some lily loving, you'll never look back. How much will that cost me? Oh, when I'm finished with you, you'll feel like bathing me in gold. But a couple of gold coins will do for starters. Sorry, I'm not interested. Come on, love. How long has it been since you had a warm body beside you? Last night. What part of I'm not interested did you not understand? All right, all right. Can't blame a girl for trying. Where'd he go? hands off what's mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't know where the guy went. Shoot. Okay, let's let's reload. And try again. Okay, I'm going to run ahead of her now. Get her out, out of my way. Hey, what are you doing? Are you following me? Why should I do that? Do you have something to hide? No, no, not me, not me. I'm just uh, going to get a drink. Quest cancelled. I was running past him. Okay, we'll have to go white. Can I go like fully around him though? I want to go fully around her too. There. So I can watch him from a comfortable distance. Oh, there's a guy there now. Hmm. I don't want to talk to you right now. Let's see, where does he go? Where does he go? He's coming here. We have to hide. Pretend that I'm a tree.
So what am I supposed to do? Okay, he just seems to be smoking some weed or some stuff. Is that it? Am I supposed to do anything else here? I'll just do a quick save. Okay, seems like he's done smoking. What happens if I go and interact with him? Ah, oh, crap. What do you want? Did... Did you follow me? It really wasn't hard. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Yeah. I seen you about. Nosing in everyone's business. People don't like people's noses being stuck into other people's business. People like that get hit. By people. Hand over the packages you took. Sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Then you leave me no choice. Garth, get him! Shut his flapping mouth. Time for a little lesson. Shoot, a two-on-one. Ow. Okay, I do damage. Dang. I need to get them both down before the other gets up. Sword. Okay, wait, 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 where are you going? Right. Now let's hear the truth. It's Cutter's fault. He made me do it. He did, he did. He wanted me to set aside some weed for him. Just a bit. What did he give you for it? Me. And some gold. But it wasn't much. And I haven't any left. Please don't tell Carlos. I couldn't hack it in the monastery. I'm not cut out for it. I have allergies. Just get out of here. Thanks. Okay, and what do you have to say? Now start talking. Look, I didn't mean to step on the Don's toes. You stole his weed. That's pretty much stomping on them. I... I wasn't going to sell it in Harbour Town. Then where? Just, uh, just in the monastery. They all love a bit of Bruegel up there. You should remember it's the Don's Bruegel. They're rich up there. Loads of gold. It's all that poking around in the ruins. Who else is involved in this Bruegel smuggling? Just me. And I'm supposed to believe that? Believe what you like. What can you teach me about combat? Has your brain fallen out? After the crap you put me through, forget it. Okay. What if I tell you a joke? Let's... Test how the joke spell. I'm feeling rather odd. <laughs> you sure know how to sell them. Haven't you got nothing better to do? Nothing new for you. Okay, so that didn't work. So whatever he could have taught me is uh, compromised now. Haven't you got nothing better to do? So we'll leave that be. In the meantime, let's um, continue exploring stuff here. Jaw tonics. Players used to break out tusks of wild boars and some arrows. 
do I have less than 15 gold? What happened with my gold? Why do I have less gold? What? what? I had 1500 at one point. Quick save to secure that I'm going up here. No. Walk is too difficult. Walk's too difficult. Hello. A customer. Welcome. What can I get you? A drink? Of course. No. Hey, new in town. Gold burning a hole in your pocket? In the market for a valuable artifact? Yeah, of course you are. Unlucky you ran into me, because I got the very thing. Who are you? Name's Dirk. I'm an acquirer of rare and valuable items. A treasure seeker, just like my brothers. Runs in the family, you could say. I know. I've met one of your brothers. Then I'm sure you'll know all there is to know about us. So you trade artifacts then? Not much getting in and out of Harbor Town. People gotta make a living any way they can. Most of those ways. Well, you wouldn't write home to your ma about them. I'll self looking for work until things pick up. I just want to get back to the ruins again. Good place for treasure seekers. So you and your brothers are traveling separately? Easier to find work that way. Although I've not seen Dider for days. I heard rumors Alf was being held prisoner in the merchant's district. No idea if that's true. He don't seem too bothered. Well, if it is true, he can handle himself. Toughest of the three of us he is. What sort of artifact are you selling? Some kind of large golden bowl. You need something golden bowl shaped? This'll be perfect. And it's yours for just a hundred and fifty gold. Didn't the other guy try to sell me the exact same thing for two hundred? I'll see if I can help Ulf. He can handle himself. But if you're going that direction, then I suppose it couldn't hurt. And he's got a chest here, a vial, some blank scrolls, a cooking recipe. We've got lots of stuff. I gotta come here at night. But anyway, we're down with whatever was happening down there. We're done. Let's see what's happening over here. Pavel. Hey, what do you want? I haven't done anything. That's quite a guilty conscience. No, I just, I thought, um. Thought what? That you were one of the people who doesn't want us outsiders here. They say we're thieves, but we aren't. The Don's rabble are the thieves. Where are you from? All over. I'm a hunter, or was before the Order locked me up here in this town. You don't sound terribly happy. Of course. If they're going to lock everyone up here, they should look after us. Instead, they treat us like criminals. But the Order just leaves us here, leaves us to our fate. So, are there thieves in the town? Oh, yes. They take everything that's not nailed down. They cleaned out all the skins in Flavio's storehouse. And the worst thing is that the rebels get away with it. Nah, no, I hate it here. I can't wait to get out. Welcome, okay. welcome. I am Flavio the Merchant. Hello, Flavio the Merchant. I bet you're looking for work. I can't give you any. You'll have to try somewhere else. What do you sell here? Hunting trophies. Skins, claws, and teeth are my business. I pay for good catches. I'll even provide you with new arrows. Well, I used to. You don't have any work to offer? Since the town gates have been closed, my hunters can't get out. So there is no more hunting. No hunting, no catch, no gold. 
We all just have to tighten our belts. Do you have any jobs that can be done in the town? Uh, well, there's one thing. We all could really use a delivery of meat. Where does it need to go? Master Belcho needs it. You just have to get the meat from the slaughterhouse. I've already talked to Baxter down there, but he wants ten skins before he'll hand over any meat. So you want me to find these skins? If you manage that, then at least we'll have some meat. About the break-in. What was stolen? Ah, uh, my hides. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. Who was here on the day of the break-in? Just the usual day laborers who wanted to push their wares off on me. <sighs> like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Ah, uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was Doyle. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. That was all. Don't you have any skins? After all, you deal in them. No, my stores are empty. The Don's men have helped themselves too many times. My boys, Pavel or Cole, might have a lead. Maybe they know something. What's in it for me, if I come up with the skins? You want to be paid for your work. I don't have much. I can offer a few arrows, and you'll make some friends. Okay, I'll find these skins for you. Thanks. Five boar skins and five wolf skins. And take them to Baxter. Once you have the meat, take that to Master Belshaw. I need a few things. Really? So you only have arrows? Sting breaker. Well suited for breaking the stingers off. Animals. Well, what do I have? I have... Um... Wolf and boar. Oh, okay. So I have the wolf skins and just need some boar skins. Okay. Let's do a quick save. And actually, I think I'll call it a day right here.